Anyways, lads, it is now time to chat some Super 6. Lovely. How did we all do this week? I can tell you for a fact, I did terrible. And me. I did all right. I got four points, boys. I, I got, got I got one perfect score and that was it. I got two points. How many points do you get then? Seven. Seven, mate. I got four and I got the golden goal. I put it five minutes. They came in at, they came in at eight. Did I beat Jeff? No, because Jeff's had an absolute storm. He got 15 points. Yeah. How, why is it, why is Jeff picking one nil Wolves? By the way, you just that, that was mental. That's outrageous. It, it, it is mental. Now look, if you lot want to play along with us, you can join the Super Six for free and join our league using the link in the description down below. Our league code is what? P T C H S six, which is just pitch S six without the I. That's right. And obviously, if you predict correctly all six results, you will win. 250 grand and also if you win our league each week you win 100 pound classic football shirts voucher which is pretty cool and even if you don't win the 250 grand isn't it top uh, point score top gets point score i gets five grand each week i feel a bit hard done by though because i actually did uh predict brighton spurs 2-2 and it probably should have been given the fact that brighton were robbed of a penalty and a goal it's getting to a point where i actually think some of these officials maybe aren't officials and they've just fraud. You know how that guy, remember officials. that guy who like frauded his way into the Sunderland team? No, it's Southampton. Southampton. Was it Southampton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he was like George Weir's yeah. nephew. Yeah. 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 This is what I think is happening, lads, because VAR, I, I don't, how do you not see the penalty on Matoma? I just, it's basic. No. Like, it's just <laughs> using your goddamn eyes. Stood on his foot. It angers me. Yeah, man. No, it really does. Oh. That, was a, that was a top four, potentially top four clash as well. Yes. Yeah, that could really... It's so stupid and obvious. How can you get so many things wrong which are so obvious? Do you think the Matoma goal should have stood? Yes. Do you think it's not humble? Yes. I agree with you. Yeah, I think yeah, I think they were completely robbed. But I, just... I think the issue of that, sorry, Tom, is the linesman should not have flagged for the handball. He should let the play go because how the hell can he see? Right. He should let it play go and then VAR can come in and have a look. Well, my my main issue is even if Matoma has considered well or is considered to have handballed that, uh, he gets pushed by Romero. Yeah. Like, as he's running, he gets pushed by Romero. He's got to try and control it. No, but after he's just been semi fouled. Yeah, and then still scores. You're arguing we might as well not have linesmen then. Well, the whole point is the, if he the sees AR something, now. no, but if he sees something and thinks it's a foul, surely. He... But if you look at the offside thing, if they're unsure whether it's an offside or not, they don't flag. No, that, that's not true. It is. No, it's not. They, they don't, don't they, flag don't and they... then they get pull it back for VAR. Yeah, if they're unsure. That's what I'm saying. If he was unsure about this, but handball, he clearly let it go. wasn't, was he? Because he, he saw what he saw. But then the VAR will look at it and be like, "Oh, actually." But they didn't. Yeah, but, but my point, the point is, VAR should overturn it if it's a clear and obvious mistake. Because actually, you look at that handball and think, "Oh, <laughs> is it clear and obvious?" Yeah, yeah. If you asked, if you asked a hundred people that are Premier League fans whether or not that was a handball, I reckon you get like a sixty forty split. Yeah, hundred percent. That's why. That's why if you leave it, you should favour the goal man. Fuck this game. I, I, did, I, look, I told you at the start of the season, I, I, I hate it. I think it's... The problem is now, we, we're trying to, we, we are trying to make an imperfect sport perfect. Yeah. It, it's, so this Matoma thing, 10 years ago, you'd look back and go, that's harsh on Brighton. Not, but it, the refs miss it, whatever. Now it's any, li, any every single slight decision has to be right. So everything's elevated. So now it's to the point people are going, oh, it's corruption. It's, it's not corruption. They're just... Idiocy. They, but it's they, there's too much pressure and too much grilling on them to get everything spot on perfect. Yeah, when yeah. that's just it's not practical. It's, it's, it's gone from a subjective sport to an object. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not saying uh, they weren't robbed, right? And were robbed, whatever. Or, and, but there's been loads all season to every single team, yeah. every single team's experiences. I don't think Bournemouth have had a penalty all season or something like that. But then. If you look at that and go, well, United have had eight, yeah, because United get in the box a lot more than Bournemouth do. So uh, I just think it's too easy to say they're cheats or they're corrupt. They're in not, the, they're just a bit for incompetent. For the penalty instant on Mitomo, 
Matoma, sorry, the PGMOL have actually come out and apologised for the decision. Again, but what is the that, point? What, stop what apologizing. is the point? Just can't get it right in the first yeah, place. They can't all just the... keep retrospectively apologising. Yeah. It happens way too often. Like the, the, these, the, this is huge. Yeah. Like Brighton actually have a shot at Champions League. Yeah. Or Europa League, okay? So hence my point, what's the point of the AR? Because they still get it wrong. And you can't come out and apologise. Just get it right in the first place. Like It's not like apologising for like, oh, I stubbed my toe. Oh, you, you flicked someone. So I'm so sorry for that. Yeah. These are huge decisions. Yeah. Like yeah. financially massive decisions for these football clubs yeah. and fans and making history. Yeah. It's beyond stupidity. I agree. And I fucking hate it. Hey, 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 I tell you. They just, take, yeah, they take 10 minutes to still get the decision wrong. So why can't we just play on? Would you sooner have football without VAR? 100%. The championship's way better. But the problem is... No, I it, wouldn't have it without VAR. I'd have intelligent people in the VAR room. There's no there's no guarantee well, that happens. Exactly. Really. Just put common sense rule in. But did you enjoy football more before VAR knowing you could celebrate a goal when it happened? Ask or... the Irish about that question against France. And then and I guarantee you they'll say, well, yeah, we would Well, yeah, but there's, there's loads of... It's there's always loads of isolated decisions. incidents. Yeah. Like, we've had, look, we had one the other week against... Um, who did we play at oh, home? We drew uh, Millwall. We should have had a penalty. So what? The ref missed it, whatever, get on with it. Yeah. It's no, no one's sitting here crying or asking for apologies. The ref made a mistake, he missed it. So what? Just get on with that. That's how football's always been. Yeah, yeah I agree, but VAR is there. No, but the problem is if VAR is there and you still get moments... What's like, the point? That's what anger, what is but that, the, what's no, the but that's what makes people angry. That's what makes people angry. If it wasn't there, people wouldn't be angry. No, yeah. you, you, yeah. no but, but you're always going to get this. Do, do, do you think there's not people out there who don't think that was a penalty on Matoma? Because there are. Well, they're just clueless. Aren't well, that's yeah, your opinion, though, isn't it? Yeah, football, but they are clueless. Football's an, a, an, an opinion based sport. But that is a penalty. There's no black and white in football. No, the handball, the handball, is that black that and white? One. No, the penalty was black and white. I think. I think. It's in, in your opinion, it is. He hasn't won the ball by the letter of the law. That's a penalty. But in your opinion, it is. A lot of people think he was already going down before he was touched. He so, on his foot. Yeah, but this is what you're missing. So we're wasting time going up to Stockley Park where. They're going to make decisions most people or some people still disagree with. So what's the point? No, my point is, I prefer, obviously, we all prefer football without it. However, it's here. It's here to stay. Let's face it. And people get angry when it's here and they should be using it to spot these things and they're yeah. still not spotting it these It things. should do a job and it should do a job properly. Yeah. It, doesn't, it still doesn't But people get angry the... because of the incompetence of the referees. That's what they're getting angry. Like they, It doesn't take fucking Jack and Sally in the pub can see that that's a penalty. But refs have always and will always make mistakes. Whether they watch replays or not won't, won't change that. Yeah, but the, the, they, they're it's gonna have... the obvious ones where they're getting there, they're getting wrong, and they've come out, mate. They've come out and apologised because yeah. they know they've got it wrong. They can't come out and apologise. They just get it right in the first place. But how many times do they apologise this season? It's it's stupid. It's stupid. Just get it right in the first place. It's not obvious. But that's like saying, uh, we're just sit on, just telling the kids, I'll just sit on that bike and ride it. Like no, that's they're obvious. The ones <laughs> they apologise are so obvious. It's stupid. Do you think Brighton they... would potentially have got top four? With a result at Spurs, who's to say they wouldn't have done? Nah, this they wouldn't. I mean. They wouldn't. Hey, this could, it, you no, know, it's, you it's, remember the, you remember the line that wasn't drawn at uh, Arsenal Brentford. Yeah, that could be title decided. Genuinely, yeah, they're not going to. Um... It's these big moments which affect these huge games and outcomes. Like yeah. it's not fucking. As I said, a flick of someone saying sorry. Like these are huge yeah. consequences of these dumb decisions. My that... my biggest problem is. They spend five, ten minutes and then still get it wrong. Yeah, yeah that's that, like they stop yeah, the, it's the, it's the game. People get so annoyed much. at incompetence yeah. and there's far too much incompetence. Honestly, I genuinely think I'd solve it all like that. I think you, you get... Put DG upstairs, you he's get got like, it lock. You get three replays at normal speed and if you can't tell by that, carry on. Here's one for you, Tom. Hypothetically speaking, yeah, hypothetically speaking, Brighton, they have to draw to stay up. Stay up. The hypothetical Brighton have to draw to stay up, and Matoma and you know the penalty could draw, give them the draw. Ninth minute after the game, they've lost the game two one because they haven't been given the penalty. After the game, PGMLO come out and say, "I'm so sorry, we got that wrong," but they're relegated. Yeah. Then what? They're relegated. Get over it. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, that's fucking livid. I'll be. Livid. No, no, but the, what, 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 at, that, what, at that point, what can you do? Like you can't actually do anything. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Do you think they're the first it's team not... to ever get like? No, get a decision wrong saying, that yeah, sent that, them down. Yeah, but or... previously there was no VAR to correct this. Now there is VAR. Do you see what I'm saying here? Like, so what's the, the, my, my biggest concern with this whole situation is what's the solution? If it continuously keeps happening and there's been no 
show of development or progress how do we so how do how do we solve the problem of var's inaccuracies get x pros with no referee training in that room yeah because like there'll be lows queuing up to do that job <laughs> so, that, so there's even <laughs> hey, there's, racks. E there's even more uh, of a pressure on these x pros that, no but they're anonymous <laughs> they're anonymous right, right. anonymous x pros oh that'll go down well with yeah. people when they don't get decisions and then there's way. no scapegoat for them either they can't even vent at someone they just go <laughs> oh that mystery guy I fucking hate that <laughs> yeah. bloke okay when it's Jermaine Genius when when, <laughs> when uh, not only for us go down because of a stupid VR decision and PGM OLA, OLA fucking stupid people come out and say, I'm so sorry we got that wrong. I'm so sorry you got relegated and lose out on hundreds of millions of pounds. We'll just carry on with our lives. Well, what? So, what, but I'm, I'm just saying. I, I could, yeah, what you're saying is, is right. They should be able to get the decisions right, but you. But they're not. Mo, yeah, but Mo Salah should be able to hit the target from a penalty. Sometimes people make mistakes in yeah, high-pressure situations and we can't keep... We're, we're holding them to, in my opinion, a ridiculous... We put too much on a human but the, getting everything right. The, I don't the, care how many replays they get. The beauty of football is, like, obviously imperfections within the sport. You know, it creates great moments, etc. But as officials, you have to be pretty perfect. Due diligence. But when have they ever been perfect? No. You know, you know, no, but suddenly no, but, no, expecting no, no, them no, to be perfect. Yeah, because there's an there's an elevated level above them that has the ability to be perfect. They okay, get mate, all well, the I'm, information and the data. But they can't be. You can't be an elite referee. Bring draw, in the robots. No, wait. You can't bring. I you are. cannot be an, <laughs> an, an, an elite referee drawing an offside line and not seeing there's another guy playing everyone on side. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You can't. Uh, uh, I'm uh, sorry. You just can't do it. Okay, I'm not then. paying 13 quid. But that's, that's what I mean. By okay, then. That's, that's also another point of bringing the robots. Because semi automatic. Semi automated offside. offsides would solve everything. And it did in the World Cup, man. What has that got to do Apart with the Brighton uh, penalty? Right, oh, it's, got no, no, it's got nothing to do with that. We're just coming up with some. from the camera angles when they got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I ate it. I ate it. Oh, well, look. I'll tell you what I don't hate. It's the fact that there's over two and a half thousand of you in our pitch side mini league right now on Super Six. Two thousand six hundred and three. Can we get to three thousand by the end of the weekend? We goddamn can. So sign up for free with your chance to win a quarter of a million pounds. And if you win our league each week, you will win a hundred pound classic football shirt. Last week's midweek winner was Will Hardy. Congratulations, my well, good mate. sir. Super Six will be in touch to arrange your prize. There are two winners this week. Having to split the £100 classic football shirt voucher, shame, however, but it is a shame. Better than nothing. So if you're not already in our mini league yet, it's not too late. You just need to sign up using the link in the description and use the code PTCHS6. As always, what is it, Tom? Pitch S6 without the eye. Perfect. There are six rounds left in this Premier League season. The next fixture lists it's are... No, it's a tough one. no, there's six rounds left in April. Not the Premier League season, mate. Yeah, because oh weekend. Oh yeah, it's it midweek football all oh, the time now. Look. It's the end of the season, mate. You've got plenty of chances. Big fixtures coming up for the next round. Though. Mate, yeah. Chelsea, yeah. Brighton, Spurs, Bournemouth, Everton, Fulham, City, Leicester, West Ham, Arsenal, Forest, United. If you were to predict West Ham, Arsenal... If you get this, honestly, if anyone gets them all right this weekend, yeah. you actually you deserve see, more than see, 250. The thing is, it's not just the, predict the results. It's predict the scoreline. You've yeah. got to have serious... Like, What's to say that City Leicester isn't like 8 0? <laughs> Legit. Well, who would have said 1 0 Wolves? Ah, exactly. Jeff, Jeff Stelling. Jeff, Jeff Stelling <laughs> okay, West Ham Arsenal. Score is going to be? I've got 2 1 arse. Uh, Reeve? <laughs> I think I said 3 1 Arsenal. I'm just going to double. Yeah, I did. 3 1 Arsenal. I said 2 1 Arsenal. Name a bigger shock than Theo Copy and my predictions. Wait, hang on. Go, run through a few more of your scores. I think they actually. No wonder, mate, if you two ever win together, <laughs> do you just copy each other's homework? Well, I, said one, one Brighton, much, I said 1-1 one, one Brighton Chelsea. mate. I said 1-1 Brighton Chelsea. I've got 2-1 Brighton. They're, they're just completely okay. different, but whatever, mate. Anyways, moving swiftly on, because as I said, if you want to have a shot at doing this and winning a quarter of a million quid, join our mini league right now. There's it's already been... free to play, by the way. Like, been, you shouldn't need any more encouragement. There's yeah. been three... Super six jackpot winners this season. Yeah. And you could be the fourth. Yeah, well, it just makes no sense why you wouldn't play for free. It's like, yeah. you could be a quarter of a millionaire. Sign up with the link in the description down below now.